welcome back today we are going to continue our chapter number 6 animals and their varying lifestyles or varying lifestyles in animals in this chapter we have already discussed how different animals breed we have discussed how animal use lungs or they use gills or they or they use spiracles in this video we will talk about body covering depending on the habitat animals where they live they have different kinds of body covering so let us start body coverings what are the body coverings we generally find in animals the first one is shells that is a hard covering scales which we generally see in rip reptiles fur and wool which we see in yak or polar bear feathers which we see in birds and the last one spines and hairs which we see in mammals we will discuss all these body coverings in this video one by one first we will see about shells the bodies of some animals like snail tortoise and turtle have a hard shell that protect their soft bodies from enemies and from drying out when they sense danger they withdraw their heads and limbs into the shell this is how their body is being protected by this shell the snail and the tortoise hide themselves under the shell when they feel there is any kind of danger then scales scales covers the bodies of animals like snakes fish crocodile lizard the scales in the fish are overlapping and waterproof these scales these scales of fish are overlapping ek dusre ke upar hote hain and they are waterproof you know they they did not get damage or there is no harm if it is kept or they are in water for more time so it is simply waterproof they allow easy movement through this scales snake or lizard or fish they can move easily the scales of snakes crocodiles lizards including all the reptiles are hard and heavy and prevent water loss from their bodies then we will see fur and wool animals like polar bear yak and sheep live in very cold place their bodies are covered with fur to protect them from the cold weather as we human beings also use woolen clothes when we are in extreme cold or when we feel cold then we use wool or fur then comes the feathers as we all know that the bodies of all the birds are covered with feathers feathers helps the bird to fly it also help them to keep warm and protect them from the rain the body the feather of the bird is also waterproof and it protect them from the rain then come the spines the bodies of animals like porcupines have sharp spines on them like head hog or porcupines they have a very sharp spines on them and they protect them from enemies how do they use it they use it as protecting themselves from enemies so this is how these animals use these body covering then come hair the bodies of mammals are covered with hair hair 
protect them from the cold and keep them warm like here we can see like godzilla they are having hairs so it helps them to keep them warm and they keep the and they keep them cold the hairs of mammals all the mammals including human beings their body is covered by hair in the case of human beings this much hair is not sufficient for keeping them cold or warm but still there is a layer of hair on our skin and when we feel cold we use fur or wool for keeping ourselves warm so the topic how or what are the things by which the bodies of animals are covered we have discussed thank you children